I read a lot, somewhere between 40 and 50 books a year, two newspapers a day, a bunch of magazines. But what frustrates me is that it's really hard for me to sometimes remember the key points and highlights of what I read. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Today, I'm going to show you how I am now doing a better job at remembering those things using Evernote. It helps me remember more. If you're an Evernote enthusiast, please subscribe so you won't miss any in this series. So as you likely know, Evernote is a great way to store important things in the cloud. And more importantly, it's easy then to search for the things you want to recall. I have a notebook simply called File Cabinet. It's where I store random things that I, need, I may need again, just like a, a physical file cabinet. Only if I put a quote in about happiness, uh, all I have to do to find it again is just type in the keyword in the search box and I'll find the quote related to happiness. Now, most of the books I read are on Kindle. So let me show you uh, a little bit about Kindle highlights. So one of the things I really like about reading books on Kindle is, first of all, it makes it extremely easy when, uh, when I want to take a book with me. I have this uh, habit of being interested in books that are, you know, five, six, seven hundred pages or more. And, and if I'm traveling from place to place, I can get pretty heavy to carry around. Whereas on my Kindle device, man, I have hundreds of books. And they're, as you can see, it's just very simple to, to carry. Kindle makes it very easy to, as you're reading, highlight, as you can see in yellow or, quite frankly, any color, uh, things that you want to remember. You just simply point and click and highlight uh, anything that you want to save. Now, when you're done with your book and you want to save your highlights, you go to this website, read.amazon.com slash notebook. And that will take you to a website that stores all of your highlights. So once you get here, the current book that you're reading will list all of the highlights that, uh, that you have kept. As you can see, I, I store quite a few highlights. I color code them, by the way. The normal yellow uh, highlights are things that I may want to remember. And then the things that I highlight in this little purplish pink color are sort of thematic. These, these strike me as the major themes of the book as I go along. Uh, as you can see on the left, here's a list of all the books that I have read uh, on my Kindle that are currently there. And uh, I can click on any one of these and uh, all of my notes will come up. And for a lot of people, this is sufficient. You've got all your notes in one place. Great. However, I like to be able to do one more thing. I like to be able to search, as I said, to find key quotes. And that's where I use Evernote and Evernote Clipper. So let's just take this book, Misfire, Inside the Downfall of the NRA. Um, I come over to the Evernote Clipper and I click on that and it's loading the clipper. Now it has basically saved or is ready to save all of the highlights that, uh, that I have uh, kept from this book. So it's right here and now if I save the clip, it will save it into Evernote. Now once I go into my Evernote inbox, you will find all of the notes here uh, that I have taken. Pretty, pretty quick and pretty easy to do. Now, if I search on any of these words, any of these key words, then uh, you know, those words will appear in my Evernote search box. So for example, if I wanna look for anything, any item that I've saved about the NRA, I type that into the search box, and then anything that I have saved, quotes, newspaper articles, anything, including um, the uh, highlights from this book will show up in this search. Now, I actually like to do just a couple of other things which uh, have been very helpful to me uh, in, in remembering elements of my book. So it's not only accessing what's in here that's important to me, it's really remembering what's important to me. So, um, one of the, so I do a couple of things. I do a couple of quick edits in my, in my note. One of the things I like to do is the, the title of this note comes in as Kindle Your Notes and Highlights. I, of course, want it to be the, the title of my of the title of the book. So I copy it and I paste it there. All right. 
Then the other thing that I like to do, and, and, and this is an optional if you want, if you click on here, it'll take you back to that read.amazon.com page, which uh, could be helpful if you want. Uh, I generally don't uh, like to leave that there because once I have my notes in Evernote, I really don't uh, need that anymore. Uh, now, the next thing I do, and this is something you don't have to do, it's just kind of the book nerd in me, uh, as I go back and I just kind of reflect on all of these notes, I try to come away with maybe two or three themes, two or three uh, important elements that the author is trying to convey. And, and, I, will, and I will typically uh, write my own little bullet points. Uh, uh, this is a story uh, of how the uh, NRA leadership has run the organization. Um, and I will typically uh, capture maybe two or three bullet points. I write them in my own words. I find that if I write things in my own words, I tend to remember them a little bit more. And I can always go back uh, and, and verify facts or anything that I might want to remember in this note. Now, when I go to Evernote and I, I put this, this, this whole note remains in my file cabinet. Um, yes, I could go back to this note because I know it's, this is the name of the book or I can do the search, but if I click on this, I can also come up with the main points uh, without having to click and read all of the notes. If I'm reading a, a hardcover book or a newspaper, I have two options. Um, I can either take a picture of a quote uh, that uh, I, I want to remember, that goes into Evernote, or I can use uh, voice dictation to dictate uh, a quote into Evernote. I like to save quotes, even political cartoons, the same way. Again, for things like this, I don't worry about other tags or fancy notebook structures. Everything goes into my digital file cabinet in Evernote. I'd love to hear if you have other ideas for storing and recalling information from things that you read. Post a comment below because we can learn from each other. Evernote is my digital brain. Sign up for my weekly newsletter on productivity, leadership, and management issues. Oh, and tips about Evernote, too. Go to my website, DaveEdwardsMedia.com, click on the contact page, and we'll sign you up. More Evernote tips and tricks coming up soon.